Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm here at work at Vaughn's House of Cutlery in Las Vegas, Nevada, and today I'm going to be doing a little review on a piece of gear that I happen to like. We sell lots of knives, of course, and we sell lots of accessories. And one of the accessories we sell is flashlights, okay? Flashlights, okay? Everybody loves flashlights. So today I want to talk about Let There Be Light. And today I want to talk about this little flashlight right here. This is the Nightcore SRT3 Defender. It's a single cell CR123 flashlight that puts out a maximum lumen burst of 550 lumens. This is a great EDC flashlight packed with features that more expensive flashlights just don't have. So without further ado, let's sit down at my desk and review the Nightcore SRT3 Defender flashlight. All right, so this here is my Nightcore SRT3 Defender flashlight. Okay, it's very small, it's very compact, but very, very powerful. Naturally, I must say, with a name like Nightcore and a name like SRT3 Defender, it's a tactical light, okay? It's designed for law enforcement. It's designed to be used for self-defense. It has this crenellated stainless steel bezel for, um, let's just say, optimal damage to hard bony structures or to soft flesh tissue if you know what you're doing and even if you don't know what you're doing, okay? So it is designed for military tactical, but it's also an excellent pocket-sized flashlight for the outdoors because it will throw anywhere from 0.1 lumens to 550 lumens in one cell. I'm just going to stand it up here, let you guys get a closer look that way, okay, as I talk about it, okay? It uses a third generation smart ring technology, which is this ring that I'm manipulating that you might be able to hear, okay? Okay, that's a third generation smart selector ring. Uh, it's very handy in tactical situations, okay? And you can select the brightness levels and functions by rotating that selector ring from right to left or left to right. This flashlight also uses the latest in Cree technology, the XML or the XML2T6 technology, which is one step further than what Olight is currently using with the XLM2, okay? It's designed for maximum output, as I said, 550 lumens using a lithium ion battery. Now, when I refer to lithium ion, I am talking about a rechargeable battery. But I will give one caveat. Yes, this little one cell light will put out 550 lumens with a lithium ion, but the lithium ion battery runs very hot, which means that it could heat up the internal circuitry of this light and damage it. So I myself do not run this light with a lithium ion battery, okay? With a regular CR123 or 18650 rechargeable, you will get 330 lumens, which for a one cell light is just fantastic anyway, okay? The crystal coating that they use, okay, the crystal coating here, okay, that they use is a second technology, a second generation crystal coating, uses precision digital optics technology to, to provide extreme reflector performance. In other words, the reflector inside has been concaved to thrust a beam out to long distances, okay? Uh, this is a really excellent light, I tell you, all right? The peak beam intensity is 4,500 candle watt or candle power. It has a throw distance of about 134 meters. That's a long way, and that's in accordance with what they call the ANSI FL1 standard. That's a federal standard. There's a circuit board inside, there's circuitry in here that provides up to 200 hours of runtime on the lowest setting lumen, which is 0 0.1 lumens, which is good enough to read a map, and you'll get 200 hours out of this puppy, okay? It comes with multicolored red and blue, what some people call submission light technology, okay? A lot of people call it signaling or submission, okay? I prefer to call it submission, it's a red and blue, and you'll see it. This comes with an infinite brightness adjustment from 0.1 lumen to 550 using the lithium ion battery. There are six functions to select from, okay, when using that ring, okay. Right now it's on slow beacon, okay, but there are six functions to select from, okay. Okay, there's blue, and I'm going to run through these again, okay. There's your infinite bright, okay. Here we go. 
That is 0.1 lumen, barely visible. Okay, and I can bring it all the way up to 550 using a lithium ion, which I am not going to do. Okay, 330 rescue beacon. Okay, and then all the way back down. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for the moment. I'll run through the functions again. Okay, but there are six functions to select from with that rotating bezel. The unit has reverse polarity protection, stainless steel titanium plated clip right here that's mounted. You don't slip it on. It's mounted with 56 thread per inch torque screws, so it's not coming out. Okay. There's a stainless steel retaining ring that protects the core components inside, okay, from damage. Okay. It's an ultra clear mineral glass with the anti reflective coating here. Okay. It's constructed from aero grade military grade aircraft aluminum alloy with a type 3 hard anodized that's a mil spec anodized the anodizing is nice and even there's no rough spots okay when they did the anodize on this it's nice and smooth it covers completely okay i don't see any flaws in it it is a mil spec type 3 military grade hard anodized okay it's waterproof up to 2 meters which is the ipx-8 standard okay and it's also impact resistant up to 1.5 meters or 4.92 feet, five feet. So if you drop this from almost five feet, you're not gonna break it, okay? And it has a tail stand capability and a front stand capability, depending on how you wanna put it down. I think the next thing we ought to talk about as far as the specs of this flashlight is the dimensions. The SRT3 Nightcore Defender is 100 millimeters long or 3.9 inches, just under four inches, okay? It's 117 millimeters or 4.6 inches long with the adapter for a AA battery. Yes, this flashlight can run on lithium ion, CR123, 18650 rechargeable, and it can run on a AA alkaline battery. If you put the AA in here, it's 4.6 inches long or 117 millimeter. This is a very versatile light. It'll run on just about any energy source you can throw at it, okay? It comes with a AA extender too, okay? The head diameter here, is 25.4 millimeter or one inch round exactly. The tube diameter of which I'm holding here, the tube diameter right here, okay, is 24.3 millimeter or 0 0.96 inches, just about an inch here. It weighs 73 grams or 2.5 ounce, 2.57 ounces. I've got to cover both American and European measures. I really got to learn this stuff. Okay, that's without the battery. If you throw a battery in there, It'll weigh 87 grams or 3.07 ounces with the AA extension tube and without the battery. It comes with a holster. It comes with a removable clip, the AA extension tube, a lanyard. It comes with a spare tail cap button and spare O-rings. It's incredible. Okay, When you use the SRT3 in what they call the infinite brightness mode, okay, let me tune it up right here. When you use the SRT3 right here, in what they call the infinite brightness mode, okay? It will run for about three minutes or so, okay? And then it will uh, go to lower levels as the power goes down. It'll go to lower levels, okay? As you run this at high mode, like I said, after about three minutes, this flashlight will kick down into high, <clears throat> excuse me, and as the battery runs out, it will kick down into lower and lower modes. Now, if you decrease the lumens, that is when you will get the longer run times, okay? Look at that. That's just amazing, okay? There are a lot of flashlights out there two and three times the money that don't have these kind of functions, okay? It's amazing, okay? So these are really excellent things to consider. Okay, like I said, it'll automatically switch to high mode after three minutes if you use it in turbo. And if you slowly rotate the selector ring, or press the tail switch, it'll reactivate turbo mode when it's needed if you have the battery power. Okay, so let's reiterate some, so more of, these let's power reiterate specs. some of these power specs. If you're using a lithium ion battery, okay, you will get 550 lumens for 45 minutes and you'll get 0 0.1 lumen for about 150 hours. Okay. The distance thrown will be 134 meters at 4,500 candle power. If you use a standard CR123 battery in turbo mode, you will get one hour and 15 minutes. 
and if you run it at 0.1 lumen, what I call survival mode, you will get 200 hours out of it. Okay, you'll also get 105 meters of beam distance using the CR123 battery at 2800 candle power. That would be at peak capacity. Okay, if you use one AA alkaline battery, which I would never use anymore, you will get 180 lumens at turbo at one hour runtime, and 0.1 lumens you will get 200 hours with an alkaline battery. Just remember one thing. Alkaline batteries can break and seep, and that's why I don't use them in these. That means with the AA battery also, you will get a peak beam distance of about 79 meters at 1,550 candle power, all right? So you got to remember that. It's also 1.5 meters impact resistance, like I said. That's the IPX8 and 2 meters waterproof and submersible, okay? So this is a pretty cool light. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is show you all the brightness modes. Okay, using my makeshift whiteboard, I think we should look at the modes that this flashlight comes in, okay? Now, I'm turning that third generation selected ring all the way to the left. And the first mode we have is a distress beacon, okay? How many flashlights you know come with a distress beacon built in? You get lost on a desert island or out in the woods, okay? And here you have a distress beacon. You hear a plane, a helicopter people walking around, and you have a distress beacon, okay? If you give it one more click over, the flashlight is programmed with Morse code SOS, okay? Who knows SOS anymore? I don't remember SOS, okay? I know people learn it in the Boy Scouts, but I don't remember SOS, do you? Okay, how many people you know know SOS these days? Okay, I don't know. Now, this one you might not be able to see. This is red, blue submission, okay? So I'm going to turn it this way, okay, there you go, let's see, red-blue submission, just like a police car, okay, this is used in, in rescue situations too, you can be found with this, there we go, red-blue submission, how many flashlights you know can do that, okay, I don't know too many that can do that, okay, so there's your red-blue submission, all right, let me, let me, let me, there we go, let me angle this back, oh, camera angles, Mr. Hollywood I am. All right, here we go. Red, blue submission. Okay, then if I turn it again, blue light. Here we go. And turn it again, red light. Okay, then if I go here onto the paper again, now you can't see that. You can barely see that. Let me get it back on camera. Okay, that, my friends, is 0 0.1 lumen survival. 200 hours on one CR123 battery. You can read a map with this. You can read a compass with this. It's enough to keep things lit in a tent. Okay, so that is 0 0.1 lumen. Now, if I crank it up all the way to turbo mode, here we go. Look at that. Let me get it centered. Look at that. Slowly. You can choose how bright you want. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Slowly, let me get it centered. Slowly, let me start again because now I'm right in the center. Survival mode, here we go. Slowly, camera's adjusting. Slowly, slowly, there we go. There we go. Look at that. That is 330 lumens, okay, on one CR123 battery. Okay, and then one more click, strobe mode, which is another rescue mode that you could use. Okay, and then you work your way back down, turbo mode, 330, all the way down to 0 0.1, which I call survival mode. Okay, that's ultra low. Then we have our red light. Then we have our blue light. Then we have our red-blue submission. Okay, red-blue submission. SOS, that's in Morse code. That's a universal standard, folks. Even today, SOS is a universal standard. Okay, and there we go. Location beacon, okay? Another universal standard. This is an amazing flashlight. Now I'm going to turn this off right now. There we go. And I'm going to set this down right here. Okay. This is the Nightcore SR T3 Defender. Okay made by Nightcore, okay? 
This is a wonderful EDC flashlight, small enough to carry in your pocket every day. Okay. If you're interested in this product or products similar to it, you should get in touch with us at Bond's House of Cutlery. Okay. I will leave a link in the description. Okay. You can contact us by email or by phone. I will leave links in the bottom. If you're interested in this product, we have special internet pricing. Either call or email. We have catalogs. We can send you digital catalogs. And uh, if you're interested, I look forward to hearing from you. So once again, the Nightcore SR T3 Defender, an excellent EDC flashlight. There you have it, guys. That was my review of the Nightcore SR T3 Defender flashlight. A fantastic flashlight for a great price. Packed with features, packed with functionality, packed with long-term battery use, a lot of power output from one battery, a AA battery you could use, a lithium-ion battery you could use, a standard CR123 or 18650 rechargeable, a very versatile light, okay? I'm going to leave a links to the, I'm going to leave links in the description box to the store if you're interested in this light or any other product in our catalogs that we can email you. Just give a holler, we'll send you some catalogs, we'll give you special internet pricing on this flashlight. I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll see you on my next review. Take care.